Hello? Hello? Oh, just a second. Just a second. Just shut that down. Hello. Thank you. Um, my name's Robert. Hello. Hi, Robert. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, good. Good. Um, I've been reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. Mm-hmm. And chapter 54 puzzled me. It uses the phrase spiritual food on page 228 it says the governing body gives spiritual food i would see mm-hmm. spiritual food it's only used once in the bible as just just food it, it, it was the manna that god gave from heaven mm-hmm. and i don't believe the governing body is giving people manna from heaven today uh, anything no, but they didn't say that they didn't i don't think that the chapter says that right let me just it's get the manna. book let me just because get the manna, book. manna is is literal spiritual food is spiritual food is what God's word from the Bible let me just uh, let me just read it Uh, 54 right here we are Uh, it's the summary on page 228 the governing body is the faithful and discreet slave that's a question I would have anointed by Christ well you know i'd like proof for that i don't where does it say that christ appointed a governing body and then it says it and then it says it gives direction and spiritual food to christians earthwide so it's saying that the governing body gives spiritual food to christians earthwide yes didn't it called matthew where it says who really is the faithful and discreet slave who the master has appointed to feed his domestic? I, I mean, that's, that's not a statement, that's a question. And it contrasts a faithful yeah. servant with an unfaithful servant. The unfaithful yeah. s- servant... Right. Exactly. I, I, I can't finish the sentence. Um, the, the actual phrase... Look, look we've, we've, I think we've spoken about this before, Robert. And if you have a problem with it, it's okay. There's don't, don't, no need to worry about it. You know, if you, you, don't like, you don't agree with it, don't, just don't agree with it. You don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah? If you don't agree with it, just leave it. Forget it. Well, I've been looking at this for several, many, many hours. Um, uh-huh. I have found one place in the Bible that uses that exact phrase, spiritual food. 1 Corinthians oh, chapter oh. 10, verse 3. And it simply means food. It means food. It refers to the manna that God God gave from heaven to f- to feed the Israelites when they're in the wilderness. Um, yeah. I'll I'll read from one Corinthians ten one. Moreover, right. brethren, brother, I, brother, brother, what is the problem you have? If you don't agree with it, just just forget about it. You don't have to. There's no need trying to argue with someone. Will you, would you argue with the Catholic Church, the Seventh-day Adventists, you go about arguing with everybody? If you don't like what is being said, just forget about it. Because we spoke about this before. And no, no, like no, it, no, we don't... have not. I've only yes, just... Well, I not about, about spiritual this. food, no, no. And the faithful slave, yes, you, and you told me about this. You said you don't... Um, why should I be? And I said, and I told you, and I remember specifically telling you, 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 you don't know anything about them. Why should I, why should I, what do you know about them? You don't know them, who they are, what the whole thing is. It's nothing to do with you and your religion. You just accept it or you don't, right? Um, it's just one of those things. You can't it, call in and trying to, it's not that you want to know more about it. You just want to criticize it, right? And so just give it up. Don't worry. You're not going to change anybody's mind. You're not going to change anything. Just leave it. You know, just as you can't change the Catholic Church, you can't change the Seventh-day Adventists, you can't change anybody. You, it's, we're only talking to people who want to know the truth from God's Word. I want so to know the future, truth. I absolutely I want to I'm know. Not, the... I'm not a judge of that, but I, I think you want to argue about this specific point, and this is not the well, first time. Isn't that isn't that. that human nature? When you speak to a Catholic, don't you argue with them, or do, or are no, you adorned? Please let me finish my sentence. 
Please, sir, allow me to finish my sentence. Are you a doormat? When you knock on people's door and the, the person says, I'm a Catholic or I'm a Pentecostal or I'm a Seventh-day Adventist or I'm an atheist, do you just become a doormat and say, yes, I mustn't disagree with you because that's not loving? No, but that's what, that's what they are. They, that's, that's their religion. I don't expect to change people's religion, a whole lifetime of belief that they have. Jesus if they did. Tell me Catholic, I Jesus just did. Them what the script I just tell them what the scripture is, and if they say they want to know more, then I have them. Right, I'm, want to, I want to know like more. To... I want to know more yeah. what, the, what the scriptures say. Now, the phrase spiritual food is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Would you permit me to read the passage, please? Robert, Robert, please, please. When somebody comes to your door, you can talk to them, okay? When, yeah, when, yeah, wait, this is us going from door to door again. So when they come, have a chat with them. No, I'm asking yeah. you, will you help me? Because spiritual food in 1 Corinthians 10, 3 okay. is simply where, where the, the map. Let I'm, me finish a sentence. A you, cut, you cut me off all the time. I can't finish a sentence. Would you allow well, me to read the verse, please? Don't finish it. When, when I come, tell me where you live and I'll come and we'll have a chat. I don't want to talk on the phone for that length of time. Well, it's a long, it will be a long car, car journey for you to come and visit me. Well, exactly. So why are you calling this number, which is so far away from you? Because no one answers this question. Exactly. You see, you're going around asking different people questions. So you're not really interested, are you? Of course I'm you're interested. Not interested. No, I'm, you're not. I'm no, reading you're not. the Bible, I'm reading your book, and I want to obey the Bible. No, it, you don't. You're not. You're in not the interested. scriptures... You're just reading to criticize it. You're not interested in knowing the truth from God's word. Excuse no, me. The, excuse me. You have to prove that what you're saying is the truth. Don't just assume that you teach the truth like the scribes and Pharisees in Jesus' day. Yes. By the way, Jesus okay. argued with them. Jesus wasn't a doormat. When the scribes and the Pharisees added to the Bible their man-made traditions, he stood up to them. Now, that's what I do. And yes, I have spoken. Please let me finish a sentence. You cut me off all the time. I'm not going to argue with you. I don't care whether you finish a sentence Jesus argued. Jesus argued with the religious hypocrites in the Bible. They were called scribes and Pharisees. And Jesus yeah. argued with them, and he stood up for the truth of Jehovah's Word. Yeah, yeah. okay. Now, could okay, I please fine. read... 1 Corinthians chapter 10, no, verse 3. No, don't read any scripture to me, please. I know the scriptures, please. Thank then, you. Then why, okay. why could, could you explain why your book says that the governing body gives spiritual food to Christian earth wives? Um, can let me finish my sentence. Please let me finish I my sentence. I just quoted the scripture. You're going back and forth to the same thing. I just quoted the scripture for you. What scripture? Already in Matthew 24. Who really is the faithful and discreet slave that his master has appointed over his domestic to feed them the food at the proper time? It doesn't say spiritual food. It says spiritual food at 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 and it refers to real food, the manna from heaven that fed the Israelites when they walked and through the wilderness. Also, Matthew twenty four forty five is not a statement. It's not a statement that in the year 1919, Jesus is going to institute some religious institution or organization that's going to be the only... Know, let, please let me finish. You, you I, cut I, me off again. You, you seem to know more about it than I do. So yes, let, yes, I think that's the problem. Jehovah's Witness yes. elders don't know Jehovah's Witness doctrine. Yeah, exactly. You know more than us because you are the witness, don't you? That's the problem with you, Robert. You know more about our religion than we do. So you must have been one and you've left it. No, I've happened. never been a Jehovah's it's Witness. A, no, well, sir. forget about it then. Why is it irking you like that? Because I want to obey Jehovah God and do the will of Jehovah you God. You don't want to obey Jehovah God. Yes, I don't. want to obey Jehovah God, but no. I don't believe that it's correct for you to call your teachings the teachings of the governing body the truth the truth is the bible it's I the scriptures that are the truth not the I teachings please let me finish my sentence please let me finish my sentence we can call our teachings whatever we want just as you can call yours the truth it's up to you if you don't want to call yours the truth i don't call problem. my teachings i don't teach anyone and i don't call my teachings the truth 
I don't right, call so my beliefs the truth. Well, I believe the scripture is the truth. You have a big problem. Just ignore everything. Don't, don't even bother. You don't want to know the truth. So just need it. You are not How do you know that? Anybody. How do you I know I don't you. want to know the truth? And when you, you use the truth, the word truth, you, you are referring to... You. Please let me can finish. Can we talk home? one at a time, please? Have an intelligent di dialogue. When I you, ask you, can I come to your home to talk about it? I live and in I Plymouth. I have a long car journey. So I ask you, why I live are you in Plymouth. this number? Pardon? Because you have a number closer to you. Do call it. Well, the yes. local Jehovah's Witnesses won't 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 talk to me because I've spoken to them when they had the carts out yeah, last week. Yeah, because they know what you're doing. You, and you I'm cut not going me to off again. You again. I'm you, not going to talk to you again when you call. You you cut me off again. Yes, I will. Because we we're not going to get anywhere. You want to argue about the Bible, and I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not there to do that. I'm only there to talk to people who want to know God's word. If I want to know I'm God's happy. word. Now, could you no, please? You I look. I no, want to know don't. God's word. Your book. No, you don't. Yes. Look. How do you know that? How do you know that? Well, you've never met me. Why don't you just listen to what I say and respond to it? Your book. Excuse me. Let me finish my sentence. Your book says on page two two eight of Enjoy Life Forever. The governing body is the faithful and discreet slave appointed by Christ. It gives direction and spiritual food to Christians earthwide. Now, how yeah. can the governing body give spiritual food to Christians earthwide when it is the Bible that is the word of God? It's the Bible that's the truth, not the teachings of eight men in New York. And the phrase spiritual food is only used once in the Bible. You, you At 1 Corinthians, you cut me off again. You cut me off again. Uh, you hate the hit men in New York, aren't you? You have to speak uh, up, I can't hear you. Them. You hate them, aren't you? You hate them, don't you? I think that they preach a false gospel. I mean, Tony... Oh, Tony... Yeah, yeah, you go. So here you go. So you, you t my teaching is false. Don't leave me with my teaching. Don't try and change me, because I wouldn't try and change you. Okay? But, that is what I'm trying to... But get iron in your sharpens head. iron. I, that is what I'm trying to ram in your head. You are not interested. So forget it, Robert. Don't I am interested. I'm more Don't passionate for time. obeying the Bible than you are. You make your life miserable because, because you're not going to change anything. You make your life miserable. Go talk to another religion, the Catholic Church. I the have. I have. The Church of England. I yes, have. I have. Yeah, do well, keep on doing that then. Okay? And then that's fine. The so, so... All I'm trying to tell you is you will get nowhere with your, you know, you've read our book and chapter this, chapter that. That doesn't work. Well, actually, no. I have had some success because I record yeah. these conversations and I stick them on YouTube. And these recordings yeah. are a warning for people that Jehovah's Witness elders like you are biblically yeah. illiterate. You can't defend your beliefs. You interrupt, yeah, that, you prevaricate, you change the topic you, because you, you cannot defend the beliefs of the eight men governing body who you claim J um, Jesus appointed in the year 1919. You can't prove any of that. And that's Leeds Pudsey.